Hi, and welcome to our Preview TV special. I'm joined in the studios today with Tyrone Miller, the banker in 024, coming out this cinema, uh, in the cinemas this summer. It's a pleasure to be here. What have you learned from the audience's feedback? We have to be very careful of what feedback we had to take in as our teaser trailer is a hybrid genre of political thriller slash horror, meaning that we had to utilize the best feedback that we that would help our teaser trailer and that would also add clarity as our as a thriller horror is very hard to get across to the audience in a short space of time. We asked the audience what we should what should be included into a good teaser trailer and separated it into six different sections, which was the plot of the film, the characters, the parts of the film, the, the types of the text like inter intertitles, uh, music and the voiceover for a trailer. The results from the question came out as such. Six people said that the parts of the film should be included into the trailer, which was expected because it then, it then allows us to know what, what the film is about. The lowest score was split into three. The voiceover, the character and the plot. This was ex to be expected as a the trailer is a teaser trailer, meaning that it is not supposed to give away the character and the plot, and sometimes the voiceover gives it away. This is shown in the teaser trailer for The Amazing Spider-Man 2, where there is little on who the character is and what the movie is going to be about. We tried to base our teaser trailer on the fact that the audience did not want to know too much on who the piggy banker is. However, in order to add clarity, because our teaser trailer is a hybrid of genre, we had to go against the audience feedback on the voiceover, so our teaser trailer had a structure without giving too much away on to the audience. There are two British flags, one for the rich, one for the poor. When the rich fly, it means oppression. When the poor fly, danger. Why was the audience feedback so important? Well, by asking that question, we, it allows us to get positive feedback in terms of what we should base our teaser trailer on, how we should form our teaser trailer. This was very important because it then allowed us to base our film trailer heavily on the soundtrack being in time with the transition cuts as well as combining the pace of the film with the transition cuts. We were given this through the audience feedback when we asked the question, what do you think adds suspense to the teaser trailer? The options were laid out as pace, soundtrack, tone and plot. Pace and soundtrack was scored the highest with a score of 7. We automatically knew that we had to use the pace of the film and match it with the soundtrack. We also noticed that other films did this, giving us the utmost confidence that we could also do this as it would be an effective way to add suspense to our teaser trailer. The two films that we noticed which used the pace and soundtrack to add suspense was World War Z and Elysium. This was perfect for us as both movies were in our polit political horror thriller type of genre, meaning that we were able to take in the audience feedback into account as we played a huge part of just it played a huge part of deciding the format of Zero Two Four trailer. So your genre was a political horror. How did you come about deciding on that genre? When asked the question, "What is your favorite movie genre?" we gave the audience an option of six. These genres were horror, action, thriller, sci-fi, and other. The three highest scores was thriller with five, and action and horror with a score of four. After conducting this, we would then have to see how the connection of these genres would help us build an idea. Our initial idea was to have the typical stereotype film, horror film containing one masked killer which would have a weapon such as an axe, therefore killing his victims. However, when conducting some research on masks, we came across a pig mask and then developed new concept, concepts and ideas of a killer and change the killer to an anti-hero, so then he would challenge the conventions of a typical horror movie by changing the pig into this unknown anti-hero. By doing this, we knew that every hero must have a villain, given to us by other movies like The Dark Knight Rises and with Batman and Bane. After the film, what feedback did you receive? I asked people what they thought about the Arteza trailer, and here's what they said. What do you think the teaser trailer is about? 
people like teenagers r rebelling against authorities and right. then the discrimination between higher and lower class people. Uh, what, what gives you that feel? Um, sense of the feel? idea of the pig mask representing police, I think. Okay. Uh, what do you think was good about the trailer? Um, I like the different sort of aspects of the rich and the poor and then the surroundings and the environment and then the angles at which they were taken it makes it more I don't know, more I don't know, I just liked it. <laughs> uh, what was what do you think uh, was bad about the trailer? And if you thought some that was bad about the trailer, what do you think could mm. improve the trailer? Bad about the trailer a bit confusing. But then I suppose that's also a good thing. Why? Because then you don't want to let too much information out in a trailer. You want to go, you want them to go to the movie to find out what things are going on. What do you think the teaser trailer is about? Uh, by the look of it, it looks like it's a film about two rivals engaging in the war. Uh, what what gives this away? Uh, there's um, the interface. The there's words that come up during the teaser trailer that says about two worlds fighting, and you can see the this gang wearing pig marks uh, going to cause havoc. And, um, what do you think was good about the teaser trailer? Um, it's quite action packed. It's fast paced. There's good at camera angles. Uh, what do you think was bad about the teaser trailer? Um, I think maybe include the other rival some more so we know who the war is against. We've got audience feedback from social networking sites like Twitter. I asked Nikita Bassi uh, what she thought about our trailer. She said, I thought the trailer was very effective in the ways that you use the camera shots and the, effect and the effects. However, the genre wasn't very clear. I also asked Tyler Durden what he thought about our film. He said the video was, fits well with the music and shots were effective. I also asked the ex-media student from London. He said it was a really good trailer, really effective in terms of the mise-en-scene. And he liked the amount of locations we visited. He said overall it was really good. Overall, the feedback that we got was positive as people liked the transition cuts, the pig mask and the idea and the concept. However, people were unsure about the genre and that, that we could have made clear, clearer. Well, that's all we have time for on Preview TV. Thank you for watching.